Hello, this is Kerwin, and welcome to another episode of Travel Talk. So today, uh, in my background today is Dubai, that is the Dubai Eye, and um, it's basically a big Ferris wheel that's in Dubai. Um, that takes, I think, about half an hour to go around, and it's actually very cool because you can see all around the city. But uh, And I'm showing you that image today because we're going to talk about stopovers. And then your first question is probably, what is a stopover and why would I even care? A uh, stopover is exactly that. You're stopping over uh, one place before you get to your final destination. So for example, you've left Houston and you're going to say Singapore and you're going on Emirates and you go into Dubai first and then you're going from Dubai to Singapore. Or you're going on Qatar Airways and you're going from uh, Houston to Doha. The Doha is the, is the um, hub for uh, Qatar or the home base for Qatar. And then uh, you're going to go from there uh, into Singapore. So what the tourism boards of Dubai and Qatar have done is they've said, hey, we would like you to visit our city at some point in the future. And so when you're passing through this time, why don't you stop over and check the city out? We'll pay everything uh, for 24 or 48 hours, depends on how the program is structured. And they, they end up paying for your, uh, give you a hotel, um, sometimes they'll give you ground transportation and they'll uh, just take you around. And then uh, when you get back, hopefully you'll like it. And then the next time, that'll be your destination. So, you know, if you went Houston, Dubai, Singapore, the next time you're traveling, you'll just go to Dubai and hang out. And does it work? Yes, it does. Uh because um, usually when you go, you have a really good time in the places. Uh, I've done places like Singapore has a stopover. And uh, Singapore, what they'll actually do is when you come in, they will take you on a tour. So they bring everybody to a certain place, process you through immigration, and you go outside. So you've entered the country. You go on the bus, and the bus will take you into the city on a, it's an open top bus and it takes you around the city. It's all free. And then they take you back to the airport and then you check in for your flight or you, or you just show your, your boarding pass or whatever you have and you go back through security. It's a very cool program. And it also gives you a chance to burn time. And there are specific times. They know when your flight arrives, when your flight is going to leave, and if you have the right amount of time, then you can do the stopover program. And this one, you don't have to sign up for it in advance. Just when you get there, you go to the desk and say, hey, uh, can I do the stopover program? They'll look at your documentation and make sure you can do it. The only way you can do it is if you have a visa for that country, which brings up the next point. If the country requires a visa to enter, then what they actually do, they either, either waive the visa or they um, expedite the application when you arrive there. I know uh, when uh, Kenya, uh, Nairobi, um, I don't know if they still have the program because a lot of places have suspended the programs because of COVID. But um, what they would actually do is they would uh, take you through, apply for the visa, and I think they even paid for the visa for you. Uh, so you can go and enjoy and enjoy the country. And they take you on, a, I think it's like a four-hour safari and back to the airport and then you continue your journey. And the hope is that next time you come, you will you will stay there. Stopovers are really, um, they're really good programs. Now, how do you book one? You go to the airline's website that you're flying and usually they, because usually the stopover is managed by an airline. For example, Saudi has a, uh, a stopover and it's um it's administered by Saudi Airlines and also Flynas, which is a low-cost carrier in Saudi Arabia. 
So between the two of those um, carriers, you can do a stopover program. Air Canada has one for Toronto. Uh, Singapore Airlines does have one for Singapore, Dubai. Emirates have one for um, Dubai. Etihad would have one for Abu Dhabi. And all you do, just go to the airline's website and check it. Now, uh, if you go to pastrider.com slash stopovers um, or cruisingaltitude.com slash stopovers, you can find a list of stopovers there. And just remember that these stopovers, um, they're not as many as they used to be. At one point, I was keeping track, there was about 35 of them. And now uh, I don't think there's that, they're not there that many anymore, but it's a great way to have two trips in one, you know, so you can do, if you're going to Singapore, you can stop in Dubai and then you have a Dubai trip. Um, now, when uh, when Qatar had the World Cup uh, football, soccer, if you want to call it that, uh, I had tried a trip and I wanted to do the stopover. Didn't work because they had um, closed the stopovers because of the World Cup football. The other time, I when I was flying through Qatar, I wanted to do the stopover, uh, but my flight, uh, <laughs> the it was a, a seven eight seven coming from Durban to South Africa, Johannesburg, and then Johannesburg to uh, Doha, and then Doha is going to go to Frankfurt. But when I got to Johannesburg, the uh, airplane, uh, well, I was taking it from Johannesburg. The airplane I came in from um, Durban had a uh, lightning strike. And of course, it's going to be uh, grounded. And they were all like, you know, we don't know if it's going to be grounded. We don't know it's going to happen. You just had a light lightning strike. It's not going to go anywhere. At least 24 hours. I had to check the plane out. So the flight was canceled. And so I didn't get to do my stopover. So I have yet to do uh, a true stopover program. Iceland Air also has one for uh, for Iceland. So if the, if if you uh, before you take one of these long flights, check the stopover. Oh, Ethiopian Airlines has one for uh, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And so before you go on any long flights, uh, just check if they actually have a stopover in place for that particular uh, city. And just at the top, um, you can see uh, Copa used to have one for uh, Panama City. But I do have a list, and I'm going to be continuous updating the list. I go to passrider.com slash stopovers or kuzanatu.com slash stopovers, and you can take a look. And I think uh, Turkish Airlines also has one for uh, Turkey, uh, Istanbul. So it's a great way to... Um, inexpensively see a city or get a quick taste of a city literally taste because sometimes there's food tours and stuff like that involved and go check it out so this is Kerwin at passrider.com cruisenotfood.com uh, go check out your stopovers the next time you're going through uh, one of your favorite cities talk to you soon